Ever wondered what astronauts eat and drink in space? It's not all freeze-dried ice cream and tang. The journey of space food is a fascinating tale of innovation and adaptation, much like the journey of space exploration itself. In the early 1960s, when humans first ventured into the cosmos, the food they carried was far from appetizing. Early astronauts had to gulp down semi-liquid food squeezed out of aluminum tubes. Bite-sized cubes coated with gelatin, like some kind of space-age candy, were also on the menu. These meals were designed purely for sustenance, and taste was a distant afterthought. As space missions grew longer, the need for more enjoyable and varied meals became apparent. By the late 60s, astronauts were dining on shrimp cocktail, beef pot roast, and chicken and vegetables, all freeze-dried and vacuum-sealed. And the meals were just as functional as they were flavorful, meticulously designed to provide all the necessary nutrients while minimizing weight and waste. Fast forward to the 21st century, and space food has undergone a gastronomic revolution. Today, astronauts aboard the International Space Station enjoy a variety of dishes, from Russian borscht to Japanese sushi and even the occasional slice of pizza. These meals are no longer just about survival, but also about morale, offering a slice of home amid the isolation of space. The evolution of space food is a testament to human ingenuity, a reflection of our unyielding spirit of exploration. It's about more than just feeding our bodies, it's about nourishing our sense of adventure, our quest for knowledge, and our pursuit of the unknown. So from food in tubes to more familiar items, space food has come a long way. As we continue to reach for the stars, who knows what tantalizing taste the future holds for our cosmic voyagers. Let's now dive deeper into this delicious topic. Today, astronauts have a variety of foods to choose from. The cuisine aboard the International Space Station has come a long way from the early days of space travel. It's not just about sustenance or survival anymore, but also about taste, nutrition, and even a sense of home. So here are the three main types of space food that our spacefarers enjoy. Firstly, we have thermostabilized food. These are meals that have been heat-treated to destroy harmful bacteria and enzymes, ensuring the food remains safe and nutritious for long periods. Imagine your canned foods from the supermarket but space-friendly. This method keeps the food edible for years without refrigeration, a definite plus when you're floating miles above the Earth. Then we have the freeze-dried meals. This process involves removing water from the food while it's frozen, and then sealing it in a vacuum-packed pouch. This not only preserves the food, but also significantly reduces its weight, a critical factor when every ounce counts during a rocket launch. When it's mealtime, astronauts simply add water, and voila, they have a piping hot dish ready to eat. Lastly, astronauts also enjoy snacks that are very much like the ones we have on Earth. These include nuts, cookies, and even fruits. But don't imagine them reaching into a bag of chips. These snacks are specially packaged to prevent crumbs, which can float around and damage equipment or even be inhaled. So, whether it's thermostabilized, freeze-dried, or just like the snacks you have at home, astronauts have a variety of foods to keep them fueled. These meals not only provide the necessary energy and nutrients for the demanding life in space, but also offer a slice of life on Earth, a comforting taste of home in the vast, infinite expanse of the cosmos. After all, food is not just about survival, it's also about comfort, culture, and connection, even when you're dining among the stars. One of the marvels of space dining is the magic of rehydration. Imagine this, you're floating in space, miles above the Earth, and you've got a hankering for some spaghetti. Now, you can't just whip out a pot and boil some pasta. In the zero-gravity conditions aboard the International Space Station, that would be a recipe for disaster. But don't worry, our ingenious space scientists have found a solution. Enter the world of freeze-dried food. Freeze-drying is a process where food is flash-frozen and then dried in a vacuum. This removes the water content, leaving you with lightweight, long-lasting food that retains much of its original shape, color, and flavor. But here's where the magic comes in. When you're ready to eat, all you need to do is add a little water. That's right, by introducing water back into the freeze-dried food, we can rehydrate it, bringing it back to something close to its original state. Picture it, a pouch of what looks like dried flakes, suddenly transforming into a hearty meal of spaghetti. It's a little bit of culinary wizardry, right there in the heart of the cosmos. And this isn't just a neat trick, it's a vital part of space travel. By freeze-drying and rehydrating their food, astronauts can enjoy a variety of meals without the need for bulky, heavy, perishable ingredients. 
It's a way to bring a taste of home into the stars, to ensure astronauts get the nutrition and comfort they need while carrying out their important work. So the next time you're enjoying a home-cooked meal, spare a thought for the astronauts dining on rehydrated delicacies in the vastness of space. They may be miles away, but in some ways, their dinner isn't so different from yours. And there you have it, a meal fit for an astronaut, right here on Earth. In space, nutrition is key. When we think about space travel, we often imagine the thrill of zero gravity or the awe-inspiring view of our planet from above. But have you ever thought about what astronauts eat to stay healthy and strong while floating among the stars? Just as on Earth, nutrition in space is about more than just calories. It's about providing the right balance of nutrients to support health and performance. In the challenging environment of space, this becomes even more important. With the body reacting differently to zero gravity, ensuring astronauts receive the right mix of vitamins, minerals, carbohydrates, proteins, and fats is crucial. Astronauts' meals are carefully, scientifically designed to provide these essential nutrients, but it's not just about the science. Taste, texture, and appeal are also taken into account. After all, mealtimes are not just for nutrition, but also a time for relaxation and enjoyment, a moment of normalcy in an otherwise extraordinary environment. And it's not just about the meals. Snacks play an important role too. They help provide extra energy for physically demanding tasks and can also act as a morale booster. A familiar snack can bring a touch of home to the vastness of space, providing a moment of comfort and pleasure. But creating food that can be consumed in zero gravity, remain safe and nutritious over long periods and still taste good is no easy feat. It's a challenge that has driven innovation and creativity in the field of food science. From early days of food in tubes and aluminum packs to today's variety of meals, snacks and beverages, the evolution of space food is a testament to human ingenuity. So while the food might be fun, it's also designed to keep astronauts healthy and strong. As we continue to push the boundaries of space exploration, the importance of nutrition in space will only grow. After all, we are what we eat, even in space. Drinking in space presents its own unique challenges. Imagine trying to sip a cup of coffee while floating in zero gravity. You can't exactly pour a drink into a glass and expect it to stay put. In the microgravity environment of space, liquids behave quite differently than they do here on Earth. Instead of settling at the bottom of a container, liquids form floating blobs that can cause quite a mess if not managed properly. To conquer this challenge, space scientists have developed special containers for astronauts to drink from. These containers aren't your traditional cups or bottles. They're more like pouches, equipped with a straw that has a clamp to prevent the liquid from escaping when not in use. To drink, astronauts simply squeeze the pouch, causing the liquid to rise up through the straw. As they sip, the liquid is drawn out of the pouch and directly into their mouths, bypassing the floating blob stage entirely. It's a bit like drinking from a juice box but with a sci-fi twist. The same principle applies whether they're drinking water, coffee, or a fruit punch. Each drink comes in its own specially designed pouch, complete with the necessary nutritional information and preparation instructions. For hot drinks like coffee or tea, astronauts use a water dispenser that can provide water at a precise temperature. They inject the hot water into the drink pouch, shake it up and voila, a steaming cup of joe, space style. It's not just practicality that makes these drink pouches a crucial part of an astronaut's diet. Staying hydrated in space is incredibly important. Without gravity to assist, the body's usual methods of moving fluids around don't work as efficiently. That's why astronauts are advised to drink about 2 liters of water a day, much like we do here on Earth. So even drinking water becomes a science experiment in space. It's another testament to the ingenuity of the scientists and engineers who make space travel possible, turning everyday activities into out-of-this-world experiences. Space food isn't all about nutrition, it's also about morale. The culinary journey of astronauts extends beyond the realm of nutrients and vitamins. It's a gastronomic adventure that not only fuels their bodies, but also their spirits. Catering to astronauts from various nationalities, the International Space Station is a melting pot of cultures. This diversity is reflected in the food they consume. The menu is a delightful medley of international dishes offering a taste of home, thousands of miles away from home. From Russian borscht to Japanese sushi, from Italian lasagna to Indian curry, the Space Pantry is a veritable United Nations of flavors. Astronauts can request special meals from their home countries, allowing them to celebrate their unique cultural heritage while orbiting the Earth. 
These meals serve as culinary ambassadors, fostering a sense of unity and camaraderie among the crew. After all, nothing brings people together quite like food, and space is no exception to this universal truth. But it's not all gourmet dishes and cultural delicacies. Let's not forget the sweet treats that bring a touch of joy to the astronauts' daily routines. Imagine indulging in a chocolate pudding dessert while gazing at the Earth from your dining table. Or how about catching floating M&Ms with your mouth in zero gravity? Sounds fun, right? Astronauts also celebrate special occasions in space with festive foods. Birthdays, holidays, and mission milestones are all marked with treats like cake and fruit punch. These moments of celebration provide a much-needed break from the rigors of space life, creating memories that are truly out of this world. In this cosmic kitchen, food does more than just satiate hunger. It nourishes the soul, evokes memories, and bridges cultural divides. It's a comforting taste of the familiar, in an environment that is anything but. So even in space, food can bring a little bit of home and a sense of community. To give us a real taste of space dining, we're asked an astronaut about her experiences dining among the stars. This is how she described what that's like. It's an absolutely interesting experience like no other. Imagine your food floating in front of you, and you have to catch your peas before they escape. It's not just a meal, it's an adventure. Sounds like a whole new level of playing with your food, but let's get to the heart of the matter. What does space food actually taste like? Well, it's a bit of a mixed bag. Some foods taste almost like their Earth counterparts, though the lack of fresh ingredients can make things taste a bit different. But the scientists and chefs who design our meals do an incredible job, considering the limitations. Intriguing! Now we've heard about the types of food and the importance of nutrition in space, but what about drinks? This is how she described how they manage to drink liquids in zero gravity. It's a bit tricky, but they use specially designed pouches with a straw that has a clip on it. You have to be careful because if you're not, your drink can end up floating around the cabin. That must make for some interesting coffee breaks. Speaking of breaks, she described this as her favorite treats or comfort foods that she liked to have in space. The space version of pizza is actually quite good, and you can't beat floating M&Ms as a treat. It's a fun way to end a long day of work. Floating pizza and M&Ms, that's something I'd love to experience. That was a great account hearing it from an astronaut giving us a taste of what dining among the stars is really like. As we've seen, dining in space is a unique experience. It's a fascinating journey that takes us from the early days of aluminum-packed meals and food in tubes to the diverse, scientifically designed menus of today. We've delved into the three main types of space food, thermostabilized, freeze-dried, and Earth-like snacks, each tailored to preserve quality and deliver essential nutrition in zero gravity. We've witnessed the wizardry of rehydration, transforming freeze-dried food into a meal fit for an astronaut. We've also explored the critical role of nutrition in space, where maintaining health and performance is paramount, and the unique challenge of drinking liquids in a weightless environment. Moreover, we've seen how space food is about more than just sustenance. It's about morale, cultural exchange, and bringing a taste of home into the cosmos. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more out-of-this-world content. See you in the stars. Until next time, keep looking up and dreaming big.